Then you Craig McFarland, Omore Carlos Ortiz and family, Samantha. We also have our consultant, B-Bar consultant, uh, Mr. Alton Bruce, my staff here, Deanna. Uh, I would like to welcome everyone today for our ribbon cutting. It's uh, the 626th unit that we completed uh, since the beginning of this owner-occupied housing rehab program of the city. Homeowner Carlos and Samantha came to our office last year, sometime in September, October, and uh, asked about our program. Um, after we completed the uh, eligibility process, um, income-wise, as well as the unit, uh, we were able to start the rehabilitation in February. Sometime, and it was completed in May of this year. Uh, we gave them some time to get situated uh, to get ready for this event. Our contractor, REA Construction, is not able to come today, but uh, they did a very good job. This pro uh, project would not be materialized without funding from uh, the Arizona Department of Housing. We have uh, funds from their home program. Also, the uh, Office of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, uh, both agencies uh, helped fund this project. The total cost of this project is $63,950. Uh, total cost, uh, yeah, the, the rehab included but was not limited to the following. We updated plumbing and electrical system, replaced windows and doors, we re-roofed, we tiled the floors, we added insulation, um, to make it more um, comfortable inside. We renovated both uh, bathrooms and installed exhaust fans. We reoriented the kitchen to make it more um, flow better and um, more efficient. And we also changed or installed a new uh, ground mounted split unit heat pump, heat pump, heat, heat pump sorry replaced appliances to be uh, energy stars and installed uh, new ceiling fans all over the house. Uh, we also did uh, replace the drain lines from the property line to the house. So you can see it almost looks brand new right now. Without much ado, I would like to uh, ask the mayor to come forward, or oh, he's already here, and give us a short <laughs> remark, which will be followed by uh, remark from the homeowner and um, the ribbon cutting. Thank you. Thank you, Lila. First of all, uh, thank you for everything you do and you've done in the past. <laughs> Thanks. So, I know, I know you've delayed your retirement, but uh, you, know, you will be missed for sure. Thank you, so, Mayor. All the hard work that you've done in this project, 623 houses. 628? 26. 626, okay. So, um, first of all, congratulations, Carlos. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. So now you can actually go in the building. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Officially. So, officially, you can occupy the space. So, congratulations. Thank you. Ah, here we go. This is the most important piece. Oh. So you can get in. The key. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. You want to say a few words? Oh, thank God. Uh, thank you guys so much for everything. I'm amazed. The city, the city of Chattanooga is amazing. You know, you guys don't tear down homes. You, you help build homes to keep a neighborhood. And it's just amazing. Thank you guys so much, you know. And uh, it's just, I feel like every day I'm in a 2018 house. It's brand new, everything, all the changes. It's beautiful, beautiful. And this program was initiated um, by uh, Alton Bruce's wife, uh, late Lisa Bruce, and uh, we do, we did continue the legacy. Well, we, we inherited the home, and, um, and we're you know trying to make things meet. We're trying to you know make the house presentable, more pretty, and you know changing things. And uh, one day the plumbing just went out, and we're like. I'm trying to fix it, I couldn't fix it. And I normally don't call a plumber, but we call a plumber, and, and he was like, "This is cast iron." And I was like, "So what's going to happen?" I was like, "Well, this was good back in the '60s. You know, and usually they have a 30 to 50 year lifespan of plumbing, the cast iron, but it's out of date and needed replaced." 
it was, yeah, it was all collapsed and everything. Plumber said, you know, talk to the city. The city might assist you with with this. The house is old from you know the 60s, so you might have like you know some type of rent system. And we did, and uh, you guys definitely did. It was amazing. It helped out a great deal. After the homeowner uh, comes to the office and um, provide us all the necessary documentation. Uh, to qualify for the program. Uh, mind you, this program is not based on income uh, or credit score. It's based on the whole household income. So, uh, in addition to that, after qualifying the homeowner for their entire household income, we also look at the, the building itself and make sure that the wishes of the Homeowners are not only aesthetic. It's not only for beautifying your house. It has to be uh, meeting the building code, our current, most current code, the housing standards, and other um, the zoning codes and everything that applies. So, and, and also a health and safety issue of the family. But yeah, definitely. I mean, we were in a rock and a hard place at that time. You know, it was just. With no plumbing, no nothing. There was there was so little we could do, and uh, these guys that came out and they they helped us. They, they saved our family really, because I was like, maybe we should just move out and you know start new somewhere else. You know, leave leave Casa Grande. But no, like and then this I have to be Casa Grande is a home. They build homes. They help build homes instead of tear down. Works for the city, and it works for the homeowner.